The overall goal of the following high-resolution melt experiment is to increase the sensitivity of detection of mutant alleles present at low concentrations within individual samples. This is accomplished by first preparing extracted DNA by diluting the template to the necessary volumes and concentrations. The second step is to prepare the assays with asymmetric proportions of the forward and reverse primer to increase the template probe product. After preparing the reactions, the annealing temperature is set between the melting temperatures of the probe when bound to either the wild type or mutant template. The final step is to analyze the amplified products on the appropriate HRM platform. Ultimately, mutant allele amplification bias and probe-based asymmetric PCR allow more sensitive detection of challenging SNP mutation at low concentrations present in samples. This increased sensitivity is useful for mutation surveillance in populations. The main advantage of this technique over existing methods, like standard high-resolution melting or TACMAN genotyping, is that it allows increased sensitivity for alleles present at low concentrations and also allows genotyping of SNPs located proximal to each other in the genome. Though this method can provide insight into the spread of drug resistance in the malaria parasite, it can also be applied to other systems such as surveillance of other infectious disease types, such as HIV, or detecting rare cancer variants in a population of cells. Demonstrating the procedure will be Caitlin Durfee, a technician from our laboratory.